Hello, hello, I'm Perexion, and welcome back to part 5 of our Shapes 2 playthrough. So in the previous episode, uh, we put together this monstrosity of a machine, and uh, which uh, creates these shapes we need for the milestone here, and uh, it's quite a lot of fun to put this all of this together. And so today we're going to see whenever this one finishes, we might look into the next milestone. But uh, we have a whole bunch of tasks we need to get through here. So uh, let's start by checking off these two we have completed so far. And now let's get into building some of the tasks here. Okay. So what kind of stuff do we have to work with here? We have half of these. Huh. Okay. Um, I mean, I do have one of these, which creates half shapes. We also we also did one which actually split them up completely into different colors. We could do something like this, that, and then cut them in the middle. All right, so I think we're just going to do it like that. Okay, just so we can actually extract some more of these. Okay, so I do have... I also cleaned up a bit of our blueprints since last time. Uh, so now we have uh, a few rotator platforms here. So I made one for 180 and for clockwise and counterclockwise. We can just place a platform to rotate shapes. Just like this. Um, Alright, but we have our pre-made platform ex extractor here. Um, maybe we just put it out that way and then we'll, let's uh, add some extensions here. So. Alright, so now we have our starting shapes here and uh, did we make a platform blueprint for that? I do, we do have the cross swap platform, was it that one? <laughs> uh, let's see here. Okay, so it rotates and outputs them like this. Okay, I mean, it's a pretty good start. Question is, should we just uh, uh, extend this one to immediately do the diagonal swap? Uh, let's just check our the blueprints once more. Uh, I do have only half ones. Got the stack. And the stacker side on top. Okay. I mean, we. Wait a minute. Couldn't we just do the same thing we did with this one? So, if I were to just go to our blueprints here, we have the stacker with the side on top. Okay. Um, this is this one. So, it takes. Uh, which one is it? Right, it merges two different ones. Okay, uh, not the ones we want then. Uh, do, we do have a cut and stack. This one. And that will give us in this order, which is the wrong order. So if we were to just delete this one, then maybe we can make use of my new uh, rotator blueprint here. So we can just shift them around and then we can add it. Wow, well, okay. I feel like I'm playing a lot of menu game right now. Okay, and uh, that looks pretty much like the shape we want. Okay, so all that's left now is to figure out how to get it inside of here. Also, I tried out uh, the tunnel. We can, we can make space belt tunnels here. If we need to, we can go below other ones. Okay, um... Huh, okay, this these starting shapes are a little bit annoying. It's like they might be getting in the way. Okay, so these can move 120 times 8. Wait a minute. Huh.
times eight. No, I'm not. No, I'm a little bit curious about how to get eight of them going at the same time. Uh, we might figure it out at some point. Okay, so we're going to head into here. So, like so. Because there's a few platforms, we need to, at some point, we need to keep track on the number of platforms we can have available at the same time. Okay, so here they go. And all that's left now is to just stack them over here. Okay, maybe we do it like this. Compress it a little bit at least, so we don't need to take up all of the slots just for this. Yeah, so this should at least uh, finish off that task. Um, Alright, and this one uh, we finished up last time around really quickly. We're just doing a simple cutting here. And now we need to merge them together. Okay, I mean, we could probably just modify this one. So let's just cut off this part. And add some stackers here. And four, five, six, seven. Okay, we can only fit seven of them. This one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we can fit eight in this direction. Okay, so we we'll probably do it in that way then. Okay, so you go in this direction and you go up here in this direction and everything goes out that way and then we I think we just we can probably just copy this and do a flip okay, that should be fine right uh, or not, let's just undo that and uh, do a flip and a flip. No. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to figure this one out then. Okay. Um, we we'll grab you and go up to that level. And we we'll grab you and go in this direction. Okay. Oh. Oh, how about I have stupid? Okay, let's uh, flip half of them. Wait a minute, wait, wait. Okay. There we go, now everything makes sense. Like so, and flip those as well. Also, I should probably do it twice here. I forgot that we didn't just split them up, we are, we are actually using a full belt here. Okay, and this should now mean that we, we get them here. Back into... Okay, well, it looks a little bit weird right now, but... Uh, there we go. Okay, so uh, I think... Um, does this mean it's time now to actually advance to the next milestone? I think it is. Alright, so let's see what we're up to now. So, fluids and paintings. Here we go. Uh, so, time to break up those boring grey shapes with fluids and paint. Uh, okay, don't spill anything on the floor. <laughs> I mean, the floor is really white and nice, so... Too bad. It wouldn't be a shame if we actually got some color on them. Uh, Alright, so we're unlocking fluids, pumps, uh, and some new tasks. So we use fluid miners instead to mine fluid. Use pumps. Oh, that's extractors, I guess. Oh, okay, makes sense. And then use pipes to transfer fluids. Uh, happens instantly, but they have a throughput limit of 7200 liters per minute. Okay. Uh, that's pretty good. I think there's like 20 liters or something. And then we can use painting. And if we're colorblind, we can actually switch it around. 
Uh, I think I'm going to keep it at the re regular one for now, but uh, feel free to tell me if I should switch to one of the other colors. I'm about to try one of those out. Alright, and then we also unlocked operator level now, so uh, after we finish this one up, we can continue increasing our operator level. And that would in unlock some more stuff. Oh wait, <laughs> it actually levels up our compass down in the lower left. That's kind of interesting. The, the compass down here in the left would also level up with that. Alright, uh, we finished a task here, so let's finish that one up. Oh wow, okay. Um, interesting one. Um, but for now, we should probably have a look at the actual milestones here, so... Let's see here. Um, wow, okay. Um, there's no close green. By the looks of it. Alright, so... Well, which shape are we making right now? Oh, there is actually a shuriken over here. Okay, maybe we could make use of that one in that case. Um, or we could uh, make use of this one. We could probably just remove. Okay, so uh, adding a platform... Um, extractor is four platform points. Oh, we got a whole bunch of more. Okay, so now we can just start to go wild here. And uh, first of all, we just need to set these up. There we go. And then uh, let's see here. I think we have a half destroyer here. We can probably just put them through here and we have one and half of these and let's just add the stacker here like so and I know it's, oh I, I forgot to actually add a blueprint here we have the corner one here this is this one is probably really good to have saved as a blueprint platform corner and I think uh, this is probably one of the oh one of those we're going to be using. I'm going to put it into space here. And uh, one of those we're going to use quite a lot. So let's just add it down here to the toolbar. Okay, so let's see where are we over here. Okay, so um, we can go here and add a corner. There we go. So now everything should be merging. Um, it's just that I forgot to actually rotate stuff. Oh man, okay, well, maybe... Ah, uh, okay, um, let's just delete those two then. Uh, let's add a corner over here. And uh, I did add a few other ones, rotators. Okay, so which direction should we rotate these in? That's 180 actually, okay. Um, that's the first one. Nice. Okay, so now these are pointing downwards and, and we can add the stacker. Like so. And I think this is just a simple belt for now. There we go. And uh, so now we at least have the correct shape here. And all that's left now is to actually check uh, out this coloring. So let's add a fluid miner here. Okay, uh, connect up the three additional to increase throughput. Sure. And uh, do you just chain them like this? And uh, there is an empty. Okay, uh, doesn't look like we're allowed to add the extenders yet. I think we need to unlock them. All right. Well, uh, this will be fine for now. So let's see here. We add pumps here, and then we use uh, pipes instead of conveyors, and we can just use them like belts. We just send them like this. Use a space pipe to transport them. Place a painter to paint your first shape. Okay, so if we just pull these forward here. And then use a belt to bring these here. 
Oh yeah, so now we need to check uh, how this is actually, how this works. Um, let's do a two for now, just to see uh, what we have to work with here. Okay, so here's the pipe connections. And we have green coming in here. Oh well, I might as well add those for now. And here we go, here comes the shapes. And now it's time to check out how the painter Oh, so the painter's actually placed here. Okay. Alright, so, um, looks like we connect the color in one side here. And the shapes go through. And we need... Okay. Um, we need uh, one fluid launch you can supply or consume. Okay, this is 300 liters per minute. Liters per item. Okay. So we need, we can supply four of these with one pipe of fluid, of fluid. And required base to full saturate, so we need four of these to fill a, a belt. Okay, so now we just need to figure out how to uh, actually uh, split this up in, so we can bring four shapes here. Um, interesting. All right, um, let's see here. We could probably just chain them together if we wanted to. Uh, okay, so how do we do this? Okay, well, I'm just going to at least try it out first here so we can see what actually ha happens here. Oh wow, okay, it moves really slowly once it gets inside of here. Okay, well, at least it's something. Um, hmm. Okay, um, wow, okay. Uh, this is going to be some interesting um, design. We can probably go to the second floor, right? Yeah. So we could do it something like this would be one way to do it, I guess. And we probably need to, there is the uh, flip on F. There we go. We could have one split like this. That would be possible. Yeah, okay, but we only have one fuel pipe, so we can only fuel few four of these right now. Okay, so maybe we just uh, do it the easy way for now. Maybe can, can we just branch off this like however we want? Okay, well that seems convenient. Okay, so we can put and flip one there, one there, and one there. Okay, so I think this is all oh, right, it connects through. Okay, so this should be enough for now, and then we couldn't just have these. Running through here. And this one running through there. This one is running through there. And the final one is running through here. I mean, it's not going to be fast, but... Uh, it's something, at least. Something like this, perhaps. And then, then we have... Uh, one belt that keeps moving. Okay, and where's our starting path? Over there, okay. Um, okay, so can we squeeze through over here, perhaps? Okay. 
Okay, so now we have at least one of them coming through here. Okay. Yeah, I should I should probably make use of the space here. There we go. Okay, uh, maybe just connect these up for now. Like so. Alright, so we can at least get the first of these, but now we need to figure out how to actually get more of them. Uh, we finished a task. Great. Um, do we actually have any upgrades now? Uh, stackers, more type of platforms. Oh. Fluid tank stores excessive fluids. Oh, here's the fluid miner extension. What? Okay, you actually need to purchase that one. Uh, interesting. And we could increase our painting speed a little bit. It's probably a good idea. Um, which means that we should probably go over here to our painters now to see which speed they are running in. Okay. <laughs> well, you need 3.2 now, so... Uh, should be a little bit quicker then. Oh. There we go. Okay, well, uh, we've at least set up two belts, so <laughs> might as well use them. Um, Alright, so let's see here. Okay, so um, let's see here. If we want more paint, um, we could do something like this for now. Remove that one and put a platform here instead. And then we just run pipes through here. So this one arrives here, gets over there, gets over there, and these two just go straight through, like so, um, there we go, and then this one comes from there, this one comes from here, okay, and then we just play some pumps and some pipes. I mean, it's not pretty, but at least it's going to get the job down, hopefully. There we go. Okay, so now we have lots of paint coming here. Okay, so now's the question. Uh, how do we make this modular um okay so let's just start fiddling around a little bit with this okay so we need to bring uh, shapes in and shapes out of here so one way to do this could be running on the second floor like this and then splitting up and going down like that. And then once they're done, we just continue out on this path. That way we instead we could place them with this. Okay. And, and there. And up again. And, well, uh, it's complaining about me not uh, being good enough with the controls here. Like so. And then we just need to connect everything here. Like so. Okay, I mean, I think this is a pretty good one. 
I'm pretty happy with this one. Okay, so let's just copy this one and save it uh, into basic uh, as a basic painter for now. Okay, so let's see if we can fix this then. Um, let's see, yeah, remove this one first. And we should probably just cut all of this out. There we go. Okay, uh, everything cleaned up. Alright, so um, let's see. Can we fit? I mean, you should be able to fit them, right? If I flip and flip. And flip. Okay, nice. We can actually add some extra spacing here. For good measure. Okay, not sure if this one actually would fit in a smaller one, but I think a two platform is probably good for now. Right, and uh, let's see here. This one goes straight. And let's just put this into here. Oh, okay, so now all that's left now is to insert the paint. Like so, and there, and there. Okay, so the paint is in place, and now we just need the shapes. Um, There we go. Okay, I mean, I would say I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with this one. Uh, we might be needing this one later on, but uh, we'll see if we, we're going to save that one as a blueprint or not. Oh yeah, so back here, uh, we should probably um, attach the other two here as well now. So you can just head straight up. Around there, and you can go up and head around here. Okay, so that should at least uh, have this one done. Okay, so we have a uh, half half here. Okay, um, what do we have to work with? We do have some red over here. We do have half this if we go down there. Um. Oh, there's also this area, which seems pretty useful for this. Okay, so let's just set up some sort of production here then. Man, it's uh, quite annoying to have to set up the colors like this for now. Can't we? I mean, you can only branch off. It doesn't look like you can oh, merge with various belts. Now oh, we can tunnel, of course, we can tunnel. And also, we need to use pipes instead here. Oh, okay, this seems to be working at least. Okay, that's much better. Then I only need to set this one up once. Oh, I uh, need to use pipes. Of course. Okay, so you can have this one. Might as well add all of these while I'm at it. Okay, and you get the first one. You get the second one. And you get the third one. Okay, so this should mean that we have one of every type here. Okay, uh, that's a good start. Uh, now we just need to make use of these shapes here. Um, I mean, we do have quite a lot of space before, until we're just going to send everything in here. Like so. Okay, so let's see here. Um, and I should probably use the extractor version instead. 
Oh. I'll shift the place anyways. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, weird. There we go. Okay, the arrows are happy at least. <laughs> Okay, so we now need uh, uh, to cut these in two. So this is a half cutter. It only takes half of them and cuts it into two. Uh, but I need both of them, so... Okay, you know what? Uh, we could probably start with that one. Uh, oh, well, uh, that's a good job by me. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Uh, we need still need four cutters to actually get this to work. Uh, you know what? Let's cut this off for now. Uh, it's a little bit annoying to have to see all of these shapes moving around while I'm trying to figure out how this works. Uh, we can probably move one half of it. Okay, so... Uh, this is about how much we need. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, we could probably replace uh, some of our rotators here. We could have half of these and remove the other ones. Uh, okay, so all of these are going to be merged together. And these... I'm going to be merged together on the top floor here. Oh. Not like that. Like this. Okay. There we go. Okay, so the question is, can we fit all of these <laughs> into here? This takes four by four by four by two. Okay, so not like that, it seems. Okay, maybe we just uh, take a bigger platform then. Okay, uh, that way we could add one over here, one down here, merge everything together. Okay, I, I like that. Um, let's see here. So we can first start off with these two. Um, shift F is the one I want. Okay, so here we go. Man, uh, I mean, it's a little bit uh, <laughs> unnecessary to have to divide these, but uh, we never know when we actually need to split the piece into two. Okay, so uh, let's see here. We have one half. And I just realized that we don't really need to rotate these. Should probably just have regular ones so we can see which part is which. Like so. Okay, so let's remove these real quick. There we go. And then let's just copy these once more. And now we're going to add them over here. And Shift F for that. Okay, so we're getting somewhere here. And let's see here. Uh, so now all we need to do is just uh, gather up these different belts. So we have one belt going away this path, and uh, this one, like so. Okay. And then uh, we need to get these over to the other side. It shouldn't be much of a problem. We can just drag them over here. So. Oh, okay. Um, I need to be a little bit careful here, I see. Um, okay, uh, let's just not do that straight away. Okay. Okay. 
Hmm, wait a minute. Uh, I mean, the space belt said... Multiple layers. So what happens if I... Were to do it like this? Oh, okay. They actually do double stack, okay. And what will we do on the other side? Uh, so if I add one here, I would get some shapes. Here I would get shapes. And here I would also get shapes, right? Oh, okay. Um, that is very interesting, actually. Okay, so you can really send a whole lot of stuff through the space belt if you want to. Okay. Um, huh. Uh, okay, do do I want to merge these is the question. I need to get you through here first of all. Yeah, there we go. And you're over here. And you through here. I wonder if I should just uh, have you hug. Come on. Uh, I forgot an anchor point there. Okay, so let's see there. And you can go this path. And you can go this path. Okay, well, in that case, let's just uh, not do that yet. Uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll see if we need it later on, but it's really good to know that we can actually do it like that. Okay, and uh, all that's left now is just grab these. There we go. Okay, so now we've managed to split... Um, Wow, um, I think I messed something up here. <laughs> okay, uh, I might fix this one later, but... Oh, okay, uh, these are not connected for some reason. Okay, so for some reason I decided to take the, the west half and the left side and send it to the right side and the right to the left um but uh sure i guess that works all right so where do we have uh, our painter now i uh, should probably go grab the painter there we go um, platform painter just save it in platforms for now uh, all right, so let's see here. Uh, let's grab the platform painter then. And I think we can add it here. So let's just send some more color here. Oh, wow, now we got the next level. Um, all right, so we have red coming in here. And uh, let's just add a platform corner here. Can I flip this one? Nice, perfect. Yeah, so there we go. We should now be outputting these. And everything is supposed to be connected over there. And I do have the stacker here. So... Uh, like this, perhaps? I mean, it shouldn't really matter which input we have, uh, since both of them are different so okay and uh, that looks like the shape we want so i guess we have connected everything as it should okay and hmm is this really a full belt okay it is a full belt now okay it was a little bit slow with splitting up everything and uh, just Oh, only at 98% for some reason. Not a perfect production yet. Uh, no idea why though. Oh, it's because we're missing some shapes. Um, are we losing some shapes there somewhere? No. Uh, 
Um, what's going on here? Uh, okay. Um... Okay, so where's the hole? hold up here? Uh, this one's stuck. So let's just select these let's select these clear them out maybe that will unstopper this um okay, here's also stuck i guess it was uneven with uh, the shapes i i cut into yeah i do hope this one at least helps us to start running again uh, this one's also stopped for now, so maybe clear that one out. Oh wow, okay, I uh, cleared out a whole lot more than I was expecting to clear out. Okay, wow, well, okay, it's a little bit... Maybe just try to clean everything out here. Then maybe, maybe that's the best part of doing this. Because yes, now I clean up everything here. So now we start over from scratch here. And there should be uh, an equal amount of every part here now. So I guess uh, when we were creating this, we failed a little bit. Uh, oh, I just noticed that operator level has increased. Okay, so keep delivering past milestone shapes to increase our operator level. Uh, granting additional rewards and increasing your operator skills. So we get blueprint points, we get platform limits and research points for doing it. Okay. Uh, nice. And uh, now we have a new cool <laughs> compass down here in the left corner. Alright, so we got that one done. Um, maybe I just realized something that... Let's see here. Uh, where was these guys? Okay, so I definitely want to make use of these to create uh, the diagonal shuriken shape. So let's just send one of these out there with some extensions like so. Okay, and I think I have a half diagonal here. Yes, it only makes use of two of them though. I mean... I guess that's good enough for now. So we have these and I, I could just bring them in to complete this pin task we have had for quite some time. Uh, it's just gonna be a bit before it arrives, but a uh, good thing we have oh, very we have a whole lot of uh, platform points at this point. Okay, and there. Oh, this one's already taken. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so well, okay, it was further than I uh, realized. Um, right, and uh, that was before I even knew that there were a difference between these. So if we just go uh, up here and send from the top from both of these. Okay, so now everything is on the top. Uh, let's just clear these out first of all. Okay, so uh, this should mean that when, when these arrive here... They should merge perfectly fine, and I just realized that also that uh, we don't have those. <laughs> okay, uh, is there anything here I can clear out? Okay, we no longer need this part. And this part. And this part. And this part. And this part, okay. Okay, well, we'll see if we're actually going to need these. They take up quite a lot of space in our space up here, and uh, we'll see. 
Uh, I can remove some of this as well. All right, um, there we go. So now we can just add this so we can get these and then we can uh, get these on top. Like so. Wow, okay. Uh, maybe we're actually going to get close to wanting to upgrade. Oh, I think I messed something up here. <laughs> uh, you know what? Uh, Let's, uh, I'm going to fix our blueprint making in the between episodes. Uh, it seems like we're just missing a blue. Or maybe maybe that's a pretty good start at the next episode to just uh, have uh, start working on a blue version of this instead. Maybe. Uh, we'll see. Uh, I'm just going to, first of all, let's just focus on finishing off this episode. Um, so, so, there we go, then to the next floor, I think we're, we're probably going to be using these quite a lot, so uh, probably going to keep all of these delivery lines for later, uh, since we can just uh, change up the platforms we connect to this, and everything would be sent perfectly fine. Yeah, I'm not sure how many of these we actually need. Okay, um, how far have these gotten? Over here, by the looks of it. Okay, it's going to take a little bit, but uh, soon we'll be able to at least do that task. And uh, then we're going to have to look at making... Uh, start coloring them. I have some blue really close, but green is pretty far away, unfortunately. There's some green up over there. Oh, hey, that's actually a quarter circle. And that is the other shape we need for our blueprints. And the only thing missing is blue, but there is blue over here. And there's also a quarter circle. And this is the edge we need to this. Okay, so maybe we can just paint some blue. Uh, of these kinds of weird circle. Someone has taken a bite of it. <laughs> and uh, add them up and get some more blueprint points. That could be an interesting thing to do. But uh, maybe that's for next episode. Um, so yeah, we're making some progress. But it uh, looks like the shapes are going to get worse and worse here. So we'll see how far this goes. Uh, but yeah, anyways, I hope you're enjoying this episode. Uh, don't forget to leave a like or subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one. See ya!